Welcome everybody to this new course about React.js. I'm really excited to start this course because it's been a long time that I'm making videos and React is my favorite uh, library slash framework to create front-end application and web applications. So in this course, what we're going to do, we are going to look at all the aspects of React. So I know there's a lot of content about React um, on the web and it's been years that React has been released. So there was the time for a lot of YouTubers to create lessons and videos. Me, I'm going to try to do my best to go deeper into the explanation and to give you all the tricks and all the tips that I know about React, all the knowledge to create a front-end application, but also to handle and to um, actually uh, uh, apply all the best practices around React. Is it worth it to learn React in 2024? The answer is yes, for many reasons. First, the first reason is because React is probably the most used JavaScript library framework on the market, so there's a lot of content, so you can do a lot of stuff. The second um, um, reason is because most of the companies, most of the startups, a lot of them are using React. So if you look for a job or if you want to build your product, probably it's the best option for you because you will find work or you will find people to work with. The third reason, it's because React has the most popular um, uh, library framework. Uh, React has a lot of packages and library uh, that are available online that we can use to create our app. So basically, React is probably the best choice. Okay, this is said. So what I want to do right now is to explain to you how we're going to do. We are going to use VS Code to um, start a brand new application. I will create a repository that is in the description down below. Please go check the description down below. And there will be the full repository on GitHub for free available for you. If you are a newbie on web development, that's all right. This course is beginner friendly. Then we're going to go really deep through intermediate to advanced, advanced level. And we're going to, of course, use Node.js. So if you didn't install Node.js, you need to install Node.js to run um, React on your localhost. Then we will use Vit which will be the tool that will help us to config our React application. And that will help us to deploy our app online and to do everything that a web developer needs to do when he wants to release a web application. All right, there we go. So we are here, so we got React. Let's take a look quickly. So with React, we can create user interfaces from components, okay? So here we've got an example. With React, we write JavaScript that will turn after that into the final application with all the chunks, CSS, JavaScript, HTML. So here we can see that inside JavaScript, we've got some HTML. What is it? It's GSX. There will be a dedicated video on that. You can check that later. Okay, if we continue here, we can see that we can have our JavaScript next to the HTML and we can actually um, mix them together at the end to get an application that looks like this. And we can see here that we can write regular JavaScript. So basically to learn React, you need to know HTML and JavaScript and CSS if you want to do some styling. All right, after that, we can see that we have a lot of interactivity. So of course, the name React is obvious. We have this framework for our application to be reactive to the user. So when he clicks to something, something is happening. Like here, you can see the, the hurts and stuff. All right. If we continue, we can see that also we can go full stack with React because with React.js is uh, basically here to create front-end applications, but also we can work on full stack. We will see here that we can uh, write some code and render it on the server. So it's going to be explained later deeper in the course. So here we can see that we got some other arguments. We've got a huge community. React is really wide, really deep. And at this point, I want to talk about something, React versus Next.js. Next.js is a framework based on React. I'm going to make a dedicated video um, on this topic. Should you choose um, React or Next.js? Okay, so we got Vit, we got Node.js. If you didn't install it, you need to install it. Here I got my, my um, 
uh, VS Code running with the terminal, and I'm going to use Vite to create my first React application. So if I click on Get Started here, there's a lot of text, a lot of documentation that you can read. With Vite, actually, we can um, actually create different type of applications. So here we can see Vanilla, a Vanilla JavaScript um, project that will be generated automatically, Vue.js, React, Preact, we, which is actually another version of React, Lit, Svelte, Solid, Quick. We are interested in React, okay? So if I click on React, what's happening in here is that you have the possibility to follow this course into a stack blitz because we got here a React application. Me, I'm going just to close that. I don't want to have this. What I would like to do at first is to install Vite. So I'm just going to copy paste this going here and I'm going to type here in my terminal in VS Code here uh, npm create vite latest and we can see that I don't have it so I need to install it I'm going to type yes and here I would like to basically uh, select a project name however if you do that you understand that you are not running actually a React application. You are just running vite okay so we can see here that we got what we call some flags and here we got the name of the application and then we got the flags with those those uh, here characters that we can put here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back and I'm going to cancel that. Okay, so what I want to do is to use Vite but to create a React template. So me, I'm going to use NPM. So I'm just going to copy paste this example and show you how to create a React application with Vite. So here I'm going to remove view and I'm going to put React. And here instead of that, I'm going to put React, okay, React like this, there we go, from zero to hero. And you can find the repository into the description. There will be a, lo a lot of piece of code that you can reuse. All right, if I type this, it's going to create a Vite application on the latest version, which will be named React from zero to hero. And here we put some characters and then we call a template and the template is React. If I type enter, there we go. I got basically my, uh, my, my template that has been created. So if I do this and I type code and point, I arrive immediately inside the React application that I have created, okay? So we're gonna look at the structure just after. I can close this window because now I got it. And this is it. I have nothing else to do. I have my React application that is in here. So we can look at the folders, at everything, okay? The public here, and we got some files, okay? So basically what we're gonna do in the next course we are going to talk about the structure of a React project, right? But what I would like to do is just to run it immediately, okay? So what's happening in here, I got a package.json and here it's all most of the configuration, okay? So if I look at it, I have to type dev, actually npm run dev to use, um, uh, actually to use this uh, application. What I propose you to do now is to run this application locally to see how it looks like. So what we need to do here is to open our, our terminal and to check if we got node. So I'm going to type node minus V and suddenly we can see that I got the version 18.19.1. You need Node.js to make your application run locally. Then I'm going to type npm minus v and here npm it means not packet manager. So I need npm to make it run and here we can see that I got node uh, working. Normally um, npm should come with node. If it doesn't you need to follow a guide to install npm. Okay so now I'm going to type npm which will help me to install the necessary packages to make react to work. React cannot work by himself. It needs packages and it will need also the packages that we'll choose. For instance, a slider or bootstrap or whatever. Okay, so what I need to do is to type npm install. And what's happening in here, it's going to fetch actually all the package on the web for our application to work. And suddenly we can see here that we got our node modules here and we can see that we got a lot of folders with a lot of JS files and also some CSS, JSON and stuff, okay? So take a look at all of this. There's a lot of modules. You will never go to the node modules, okay? We stay here. All right, so now it's done. I'm going to type npm run dev. And why npm run dev? Because dev 
is going to launch Vite and Vite will help me actually to run this project locally. So I'm going to type enter and we can see here that on localhost uh, here on this address exactly running right now on my computer and I can't type on the, ser on the, on the terminal again, the server is running. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to launch and look at this, there we go, we've got our application running. And if I click on count, we can see that the count is incrementing. So here I'm just going to close this and I'm going to talk about the structure of the course uh, in a, um, later in a future course. But we can already look that in the source folder, we got where is the application that is running now. And if I go on main.js, we can see some code which is work not in GS but in GSX and we can see here that on my theme I got the React uh, icon. So for those who don't know GSX, we will talk about it also later. We can see here that I got the GSX files which is basically JavaScript and if you click here we can see that we got all the code that is running with the count here. Count is, we can see that this is basically this button and we got curly brackets with count and here count, it's a state which starts on zero. Okay, so we've got our application running. What I want to do, I'm just going to stop right away. Okay, I'm going to stop right away and create the Git repository for you guys. Okay, we are on GitHub. I have an account. If you don't have an account, create an account. And here I'm going just to zoom and I'm going to create React from zero to hero. And this is going to be the repository that I will put public and you can go directly on it, okay? So here I got a git ignore uh, file that is coming because of it, which will imp impeach me to push the node modules, okay? We don't wanna have the node modules. So I'm going to click on create repository. And suddenly, there we go, I got it. And if I go down, I got all this piece of code that I'm going to copy paste, just this one. Uh, I could copy paste everything if I want to, but not in this case, I'm going to type git in it. All right. And suddenly we can see that all the files that are here are in green. So I'm going just to push all of this and we can see that we've got an error because I need to add the whole folder. I'm going to add this and I'm going to put that it's going to push and when I come back, I'm going to unzoo. Suddenly I got my application that is here with a description and stuff. So if you want to uh, go to see this, um, basically, if you want to go to see this repository with all the lessons, you just have to go on my GitHub account on Guillaume Dion, react from zero to a euro. I think I'm going to pin it right away on my profile. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So if I click here, I'm going to customize here. I'm going to put react from euro to zero. I'm going to pin it as the first here project. I'm going to put more data into it and you will be able to follow this course entirely. So that's it. Now what we're going to do, we are going to look quickly at the um, application, but before we want to make a comparison between React and Next.js.